Harry, man. Harry, you're in my seat. Harry, you knocked down the mic, man. You're hanging. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to uh, another video. Today, we're going to talk about five ways you can give messages of safety to your brain. So, let's get into it. Okay, it's Friday today. Really taking it easy and pretty laid back on Fridays. I'm myself sending messages of safety to my brain consistently. I'm being light, I'm being easy in my attitude, or I'm trying to be at least. And today, I really want to dive into five unique ways you can send messages of safety to your brain. And with mind body healing, you know, Chronic pain and chronic symptoms, they occur because our brain and nervous system feel in danger. The danger circuits in our brain become activated, our nervous system becomes dysregulated, and then as a result, we get these chronic pain and symptoms. So the goal in mind-body healing is to create safety, and it's to create safety in all sorts of different ways. So let's dive into five ways you can give messages of safety to your brain. Number one, loosen up your body. You can do this from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, just slowly loosening up each muscle group. You know, the muscles in your head, in your face, in your neck, in your shoulders, and so on. And by doing this, by loosening it up, we're sending messages of safety to the brain that we're okay, that we're fine. See, when our muscles are tight and we tense, we're sending signals of danger to the brain. And we know the vagus nerve, 80% of it is sensory. And what that means is messages are going from your body and organs to your brain. And so to create a sense of safety, even cognitively, we need to send somatic messages of safety. And so loosening up your body can achieve this. So loosen up. Number two, smiling. Smiling sends messages of safety to our brain. You know, there's lots of research to show that smiling reduces stress, it helps us recover after a stressful event, and it can prevent illness. And the reason for this is when we're in a safe and connected state, our social engagement system comes online. These are, these are all the muscles and nerves in your face, you know, your eyes, your mouth, your ears, it comes alive. And so even artificially smiling can be helpful. And I know when we're in chronic pain and symptoms, the last thing I wanted to do was smile. But this is something that I really practice early on in my healing journey. Whether it was smiling throughout my day, whether it was smiling during somatic tracking or when doing meditation, or whether it was smiling, you know, when I was out with friends, even if it feels artificial at first, it's sending messages of safety to your brain that you're okay and that you're safe. So practice smiling. Number three, give cognitive messages of safety. Messages of safety are a big part of pain reprocessing therapy. We need to pepper ourselves with these. You know, to change our relationship with our pain and symptoms, we need to start to think about it differently. And so some examples of messages of safety are this is just a sensation and it will eventually pass. It's temporary or my brain's just misinterpreting things. My body's completely capable and healthy. Or finally, remind yourself of the healing progress you've made and that you're on the right track and that you will heal from this. Practice doing this consistently. You know, throughout your day, just sprinkling it in. You know, messages of safety for myself, I use around emotions. I also use them around just life in general because it can be a really beneficial practice to get in the habit of doing. Number four, approach your emotions. When we resist our emotions, it causes our nervous system to become really dysregulated. The danger circuits in our brain become activated because anything that you're resisting and avoiding, it just causes everything to feel more in danger, your whole system to feel more in danger. And it's gonna escalate your neuroplastic pain or symptoms. 
And so a clear way to send a message of safety to our brain is actually approaching our emotional state and learning to sit with it and work through it. I have lots of videos on approaching emotions on this channel that you can check out, but it's a big part of healing from mind-body concerns. Number five, visualize yourself healing. When I was first recovering, I did this. I did this a lot, every single day. I would visualize myself getting better, my pain dissipating, me being able to move my body. And how it worked for me is it created feelings of empowerment and it created really strong feelings of hope. And then I would lean into those feelings of hope and empowerment in my body. And again, when the brain expects to heal, the brain will start to heal. So actually visualizing ourselves healing and creating pleasant sensations sends a direct message of safety to your brain. So practicing this can be a really important part of our healing journey. So I hope this video on five ways to send messages of safety to your brain was helpful. Please put your questions or comments down below, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you next time. Happy healing.